Our zoo opens in less than five minutes. All right, right past the entry gate, they got quarters for conservation. I got three tokens that basically equal quarters that you get with your entry. Because you have three animals you can choose as it goes through. It goes down. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Colorado Springs, Colorado and today I'm visiting the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Now my whole reason for coming to Colorado on this trip was for this specific zoo. I heard so much about it. I really wanted to come here. So I am here. Gonna try and find a gift shop to get my official hat. I'm just wearing a, uh, you know, a Nike branded hat right now so my head doesn't burn. I showed you the sign with the elevation. Gonna be a fantastic day, beautiful weather. Uh, I see all the beautiful mountains where the zoo was built into. So that's gonna be fantastic. All right, so right here at the front we got Thunder Guide Trading Post gift shop. Gonna go in here, try to find a hat. All right, well, that was a bummer. All they have is child-sized hats and blank caps for some reason. So, no Cheyenne Mountain Zoo hat, which is unfortunate, but nothing I can do about it. All right, past the gift shop, they do have the rentals for strollers and wheelchairs. So, showing you the uh, little bit larger map, get you an idea where I'm at. This place has a lot to see. So, I'm going to do the... African Rift Valley and encounter Africa first and then we'll move ourselves around to see everything else. Now they do have a chairlift so it takes you to the top of the mountain. I'll do that a little bit later. Oh, I got these nice deer statues. Now I actually saw a real wild deer on the drive up. It's funny because I just passed a sign that said warning deer in the area. And there was a deer. All right, so I actually decided to do the Mountaineer Sky Ride first because I'm guessing the longer I wait, there's gonna be a line later on. There are restroom locations right next door to the building. So the pricing. All right, here we go. So why there are no animals up here? I was told to get a fantastic view. Be riding over some animals, well, animal habitats. Do enjoy some nice views. Oh, here we go. Pretty sure these are mountain goats. What's up guys? Got another one here. But I can see I'm going to get my exercise today. Hard to believe this is day eight of my 2022 road trip. mountains <laughs> so 
This is all part of the Cheyenne Mountains. Nice leisurely ride. See some remnants of snow on the ground. This area actually did get some snow earlier this week. Even though we're at the end of May, Still pretty high up elevation. Coming from Florida, we're pretty much almost at sea level. Here I am over 6,000 feet above sea level. Here's some wild birds. Alright, so it doesn't go quite to the top of the mountain, but we're still up pretty high.
right. Let's just get up for a look around. So this is the view from up here. So if you packed a lunch or you got food down there, that's a good place to come and eat. Do have restroom locations. And there's a Mountaineer Market that's not open. Maybe it'll be open a little bit later, not sure. Some playground stuff for the kitties. And we're gonna go inside of this little tent looking thing. All right, I'm inside of a yurt. That's what they look like. It's inside of one. All right, so the Mongolian culture has these horses. And Cinerous Vulture and Toad-Headed Agama. All right, so keep in mind there are no animals up here. This is basically a ride up here to get a good view. That's pretty much the whole reason of coming up here. So, now that I've seen this, it's really, really beautiful up here. I'm going to go back down and I'm going to start looking at some animals. Alright, so heading back down. So, fantastic view from up here. Alright, so showing the map again. I just got off the Mountaineer Sky Ride, went up to the Mountaineer Summit, so I'm back down. So now I'm going to go and do African Rift Valley, an African encounter, and work my way around. All right, welcome to Africa. You got all these big faux statues of giraffe. Gonna go through this walkway right here. Oh boy. That's a lot of giraffe. Whole lot of giraffe. Got researchers outpost. I think got giraffe feeding. Alright, so I got a handful of lettuce. And lots of giraffe over here. Let's see if somebody comes over for some lettuce. You guys want some food? Ain't giraffe hungry? Ain't giraffe hungry? Anybody? Fresh lettuce here, guys. Ladies, here we go. Hi. How are you? Hold on, hold on. Hi. Here you go. There you go. I was waiting for giraffe to come over. Mr. Giraffe. Mr. Giraffe. Mr. Giraffe. No, 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 it's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Oh, Joshua, don't touch. I got it. So, yeah, there's a couple hungry giraffe over here. Like this. Hey, baby. Oh, I found my I found my lettuce stash. Just trying to lick them all over. <laughs> Just trying to lick them all. <laughs> no, I'll give it to you. Hold on. It's like, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> One last piece for you. There you go. There you go. Okay, one minute. Each hold a lettuce, and then I want you to stand here and turn towards me. Turn towards me. Stand next to Isla. Turn towards me. Look at me, Dad. Look at me. Look at. So that was nice. I'm chewing on the leaves on this. Well, not many leaves left now, but the hang up fresh branches for them. This guy's trying to lick my microphone. He's gonna try and eat it. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Got lots of hungry giraffe over here. Got this big giraffe over here, all by itself. He's a good looking giraffe. So these are reticulated giraffe.
All right, to take a drink. All right, so this is the bull giraffe, which is the reason why he is separate from all of the ladies. All right, this is inside the giraffe building. Oh yeah. All right, we got Red River Hog. I do love these piggies. It's got a nice looking habitat. It's called a warthog. Another Red River Hog laying down, taking a nap. I just told you three times. Here we go. Red River Hog. All right, we got a copy. Looking for the copy. I don't see him. There's your copy. Found it. We'll be around the corner. You're such cool looking animals. All right, meerkat. All right, caring for meerkats. Oh, I love these little critters. Where they run all over the place. They dig all the little burrows. Kind of like prairie dogs. Oh, so cute. You should have one acting as a lookout. Now we're going to be seeing some lions coming up. The lines that they have. This is a little relaxation room. So they are all outside. Got one of the workers in here cleaning it up. All right, African lion. Says a lion habitat. Stuff so there on the rock. They got Elson's place. This is what they've got available. Alright, Elson. This is tribute to Elson. Alright, so I got my large refillable drink cup. Refills are 99 cents. Alright, we got Rock Hyrex and Columbus Monkey. So this is both of their habitats. I don't see anything at the moment. All right, we got Grant's zebra. All right, there's the Grant's zebra. And there's the zebra butt. I'm telling you, I do not plan this. This is every time I see zebras, I end up with a zebra butt. All right, there's our zebras. Munching on some hay, looks like. But they have a nice habitat. And they're right next to the giraffe. I got vultures. Now I do not expect to see any of the bird species here out on habitat today because of the avian flu. We do get a nice look of all of the giraffe. And Red River Hog. And zebra. All right, showing you the map so you see right where I'm at. Went up the the hill. And you see, encounter Africa next. All right, so I found one of the Columbus monkey. He's kind of squished up against the fence. So that's where I saw. The sign for the Columbus Monkey's Habitat goes all the way up here. So they're all up here. Oh, these guys just laying here in the shade on the deck? Yeah, two guys in the shade. Another one in the back there. There's two of them up here. I didn't even see the other one. That's the top view of the African Lion Habitat. Here we go. It's above view of the lion. There is the male lion. 
And there is the lioness up above. That was a view of the male lion. Well, they got a secondary meerkat habitat up here. Well, we got a black rhinoceros. All right, this black rhino is named Jumby. Oh, that's the difference between a black rhinoceros and a white rhinoceros. This is the rhino's habitat. And there is a peafowl or a peacock. And we got African elephant. All right, this is a portion of the African elephant habitat. There's a third meerkat habitat. So you got lots and lots of meerkats here. Is your name Timon by any chance? Or what are you, Timon? Are you Timon? I'm looking for Pumbaa. Anybody? This is really sad. Target on their tusks. Why all these beautiful creatures are murdered every year for their ivory tusks and protecting their future. All right, this shows you the difference between African and Asian elephants. All right, see one of the African elephant. <laughs> Moving quick, gotta get up that hill. Now we're gonna go across this bridge. That's a good looking elephant. The African elephants have bigger ears and are typically larger than the Asian elephants. However, at the Denver Zoo yesterday, I saw a Asian elephant that was even bigger than this guy, which is very unusual. Very, very cool animals. Here's a second elephant. This would be a bull elephant. You can tell from its large tusks. It's absolutely love the look of this place. There's all the mountains above. Extreme decorators. That's nice. So you can see why the elephant had to walk really fast to get out this incline. All right, see the black rhinoceros. Way over by the gate. Just stand there chilling out. There's a third elephant enjoying some hay. Oh, we got the well grown elephant center. So you can see the elephant's evening habitat. This is where they are stored. They also keep the rhino in here. All right, so there are restroom locations inside. All right, designed to care. So there's even stuff inside to keep the animals occupied. All right, so this building is a dead end, so I'm gonna head back and continue our tour. All right, so I'm showing you the map again. I just did encounter Africa. So I'm gonna head over to the left, check out the Bears and Tapers and Grizzly Hill, my big backyard. Rocky Mountain Wild. And to make my way up to Asian Highlands and finally up to the Australian Walkabout. And when I walk my way around, I will come back and do the lower portion Rocky Cliffs and Water's Edge Africa and Primate World. So we'll see everything. 
All right, so in addition to all of the maps, there are signs up with arrows pointing to different areas. All right, we're gonna see some mountain taper and possibly muscovy duck. I do not expect to see any of the bird species here today, just in case. All right, I do see the mountain taper. Having a nap, looks like. You guys got a nice waterfall and stream. Oh, we got Joffrey's Marmoset. I do not see any in here. So it could be in his little hut right there. All right, so I'm off the path from the taper. Does it see the Asiatic? Black Bear, you're going to head to the right and go up this path. Alright, good. Asiatic Black Bear. Meet our Asiatic Black Bear, Beesler. And there's one of the bears. So this is Beesler. Secondary habitat for the bear. All right, he turned a shipping container into a greenhouse. Right, way to grow our own lettuce. Right, progress in the making. All right, you got a carousel. Carousel rides are two dollars. All right, right next to the carousel, you got the Express Carousel Suites, and this is their menu. Right next to the carousel, you got the Grizzly Grill. There's several different types of foods in here. Got sandwiches, got pizzas and bowls. Of course, you got burgers, insides, family beverages, and other treats. All right, we got four of the peafowl over here, or peacock. Hey, ladies, doing? Oh, sorry. There's one male. One male and three female. Wow. This guy's a super stud. All right, right up the path, we got pizza with a view, European style pizzeria. All right, the third man. No, Alright, so there's a small playground right over here. It's the same area as those three eateries that I just mentioned. Alright, we got American Beaver. It's a nice looking habitat. And the beaver's right here. Oh, usually I gotta look a lure for him. Very nice. There's lots of water for the beaver to enjoy. Oh, we got some goats. Oh, these are a domestic goat. This is their goat herd. Do you like all the goats? We're gonna go check out the Loft Exploration Center. Right, Hoffman's two-toed sloth named Bean. All right, I was looking all over for the Hoffman's two-toed sloth, and I found him. The sloth has full range of the roam around all above, and usually there's a bunch of parrots in here, but all the birds are temporarily off exhibit due to the avian flu. So yeah, that Hoffman traveled from over there. <laughs> right up there. Yeah, three-banded armadillo. Hey, there it is. That's a three-banded armadillo. Oh my God, it's so cute. Got some chinchillas. The chinchilla is right there in the little log. Got a Daegu. And there's a Daegu. Got 
African Pygmy Hedgehog. See two of them going over here, and the other one here. Now we're gonna Desert King Snake. Got Egyptian tortoise right underneath up a little little cave. Got a prehensile tailed skink there and around right the back. And Moroccan spiny tailed lizard. That's a nice looking lizard. Definitely has spiny tail. We got a bull snake. We got the bull snake it's moving all around. It's like it finished its breakfast of cornflakes. We got a new guinea blue tongue skank. Very nice. We got a Borean short tailed python. The python is in the back. There are restroom locations right inside this building. All right, so showing the map again. So you see right where I'm at. I'm right here at the loft. Gonna go over to do Rocky Mountain Wild and continue up this path to the Asian Highlands and following Australia walkabout. There we go, Rocky Mountain Wild. All right, so I highly recommend you wear comfortable shoes when you come here. There's a lot of elevation changes, a lot of paths. In the area where there's extreme elevation change, there's elevators that takes you up. So people with wheelchairs or excessively large strollers, I recommend using the elevators. All right, so normally this would be home to the North American wood duck. However, because of the avian flu, all birds are off habitat temporarily for their safety. This is nice. All right, we got moose. All right, so Alaska moose is named Atka. Amazing antlers. Only male moose have antlers. All right. Very nice. I saw a moose in one of the other zoos I went to. And they were playing in the water. And I didn't realize just how large these animals were. Let's see if they got out of the water. Yeah. There he is. Cool. Cows or condos? Landscape is changing. Oh, I got wolf woods. Oh, I got Mexican wolf. These guys got a fantastic yeah, habitat. My dog has these two. Habitat. Yeah. So these two, and I would say call that one. So probably the only birds I'm going to see are the wild birds. Oh, I see a third one now. Third wolfie. Where's the one at the camera? I don't know. There's one wolfie right up here behind the window. North American porcupine. Our North American porcupines are named Quillum and Kale. Yeah. These guys are good climbers because they got those claws. Ooh. He's got a very nice habitat. And getting some fantastic views at animals at this zoo. 
So far the only thing I have missed is pretty much birds. Finally a zoo that has the animals names listed. Alright, we got mountain lion. Well, these are the three mountain lions, Edira, Sitka, and Coda. Sleeping up on the rocks. Whoa. I see I see two of them. There's two of them up there. So the third one is somewhere else. Very nice. But yeah. They got a very nice habitat also. Like this is mining a must. These are all the items that are manufactured with these particular things that they mine. Alright, we got a lynx. But the Canadian lynx is called Kajika. Alright, so I am looking for the animal. Not seeing it. Or there might be another view above. I'm not really sure. Alright, hope for the animals and their world. Oh, they got a dip in dots. Alright, river otter. The river otters have a fantastic habitat. Unfortunately, they are off habitat. There's a sign here states. So that is a bummer. I always enjoy seeing the river otter. Well, just in case you've never seen a river otter, this is them. So this is a no-go. All right, bald eagle. Now these two are off habitat for the safety of the animal. So this is a no-go, obviously. Just like all the other bird species I will not be able to show to you today. But this is a very nice habitat. All right, so all the bird species that have their home here at the zoo are behind the scenes. They're being well taken care of. So it is for their safety with the avian flu risk going around. We don't want any of the animals to get sick and potentially die from something that is preventable as keep them off habitat. Can we have fun and support healthy forests? I think we can if we do it the right way. This is a lookout tower or fire tower. There's two different types of fires, controlled burn and catastrophic. Low intensity ground fire versus high intensity crown fire. Wildlife and fire. The firefighting tools. Wildfire, the heated debate. Got fire on the mountain. All right, so I reach the top of the tower and this elevated boardwalk. There's also an elevator if you cannot do the stairs. All right, so I'm up on this elevated boardwalk now. So I'm up at the top of that tower that I showed you. And this is the sky ride that I took up. Any idea where I am? Alright, red-tailed hawk. And Swainson's hawk. This would be their habitat. Obviously it's empty. And what's bugging the trees? Alright, grizzly bear. So grizzly bear is not in its habitat at the moment. If it is, the, uh, they are sleeping somewhere. So I will check back a little bit later. Let's get a greenback cutthroat trout. She be the fish that are in here. 
Can't have a good bear habitat without fish. This is how fires can actually benefit. Or it says to burn or not to burn. Got this big giant <laughs> grizzly bear. <laughs> Images of Asian Highlands. That's Asian Highlands, next area I'm going to. All right, a mer tigers. I see mer tigers. Name is Chewy. Ah, oh, this is really pretty. Mer tigers right up here. Chewy is taking a nap. Cats and predators built for success. You're protecting big cats. They're mer tigers. Conservation efforts. Trying to get you a better view of Chewy. Again, Chewy has a beautiful habitat. Big ball to play with. And we got Palace's cat. And the name of Bo and Nancy. Very nice looking habitat. There's an awful lot of light reflection on here, and I don't see them. I'm mean, sticking my head up there, so I'll try back later. So showing you the map so you see right where I'm at in the Asian Highlands. I'm going to finish up this little area, then check out the Australian walkabout. And then I will go down the main path, down to the lower portion that I didn't get to yet. All right, we got a mer leopard and snow leopard. Our snow leopard's name is Bhutan. What is this? All right, so mer leopard viewing area. It says they are working on fixing it up. So I'm looking and I do not see anything in here at the moment. So probably still in the back. So as this is basically on the main pathway, I will check back a little bit later. All right, Australia walkabout. All right, it's kind of funny about this. I just had a subscriber from Australia mention that he finds it really hilarious that every zoo has the Australian section called the Australian walkabout. And it's true. Almost every zoo that has an Australian section is called Australia Walkabout. All right, we got birds and reptiles. We got ornate box turtles. So while there is some reflection, kind of shown the uh, he's kind of moving around. There we go. There we go. Pearl River map turtle. Nice looking turtle. Got Bernese Python. Hey, I got blue spiny lizard. Very nice. That's a cute lizard. We got a collared lizard. Here we go. Sticking his head out. Like seeing all the little lizards. Oh, we got a Toke Gecko. He's looking, he's right here. It's a gecko. 
got a crescent gecko. It's a crescent gecko. Got mandarin rat snake. There we go. We got a gray banded king snake. Got a wall python. Okay, rusty boa. Rusty boa is inside the little, little glass jar, it looks like. Got a Stenson's python. It's a lie, it's not got a black tail on it. Got a blue tree monitor. Yeah, here we go. Very nice. Look at Western Pond Turtle. These are cute little pond turtles. Hoffman's two-toed sloth. All right, so this is a other two-toed sloth. We saw the one in the building that had little animals in it. This is a lot better view of this one. Here we go. Oh yeah. Reaching down, getting its food. European glass lizard. All right. These guys have no arms or legs. And we got a Gila monster. Gila monster is underneath. So you got some really interesting habitats in here. A blue tongue skink. Go. The Burmese python is called Mr. Slithers. I like that, Mr. Slithers. Very nice. I like its habitat also. All right, so I'm back outside. All right, alien invasion, invasive species harm wildlife. Natchez tree kangaroo. And I do not see the tree kangaroo. Our Australian kangaroo's tree dwelling cousin. Matchy's tree kangaroo. And the tree kangaroo is named Tristan. Oh wow. Still got a really, really long tail. Get a better view. That's nice. The tree kangaroo has all sorts of stuff to climb on. An Australian shell duck. All right, surprisingly, the shell duck are out. A nice turtle there with it, too. Right, we got American alligator. All right, so these are the gators, Sally, Tommy, and Tori. Oh, yeah. See these guys all the time in my home state of Florida. Nice. This is a good sized alligator. Nice view of the duck. All right, saving species, Australia and the U.S. doing their parts. All right, we got some emu. That is a big bird. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, it's a cute little wallaby. 
Oh, she's a redneck wallaby. Right. Do you love the wallabies? And kangaroos also. These are the redneck wallabies. Not entirely sure what the difference is between these and the Bennett's wallaby. Besides their name, obviously. I mean, because they're rednecks, you know, it's the, uh, the cousin. Munch on some leaves. We got budgie buddies. I'm actually really surprised that this is open. But these are all different colored parakeets. One of the most popular pet bird species. We got budgies or parakeet, cockatiel, and princess parrot. There's some of the cockatiels I was looking for. Sorry, it's so loud in here. So the birds have the option to come outside, but they're all inside. Yeah, all inside. All right, so there's one princess parrot in this whole building, and that's it. One right in the center. Outside, you got a thorny devil stick insect. Here we go. This is it right here. All right, so as I was saying, I was actually really surprised that the bird area was open to the public with the avian flu going on, but I'm sure the zoo knows what they're doing. See a couple more redneck wallabies. I'm just looking for their Paps Blue Ribbon cans, but I don't see any, so they must have already cleaned them up. That's a redneck joke, sorry. So you can get really close up view of them. A little tongue hanging out. All right, so I'm back on the main path. So showing the map again. I just got out of the Australia walkabout. So I'm gonna follow the path. Main path right along here, down towards the front of the zoo. And I'm gonna check out Rocky Cliffs and Water's Edge Africa in Primate World.